Hello and welcome coaches to the Fieldhouse, a place where coaches can get together, collaborate, teach and learn from other coaches who love the game. Please like, subscribe and comment below to help grow this channel and also to give us an, an idea of what you would like to see in the future here at the Fieldhouse. Hey coaches, Coach Weathersby here with you. Last week we went over the weak side belly series. Today we're going to go over the strong side belly series, um, which these plays are going to be the down, the down pass, and the belly up, belly strong, belly strong. So we'll go get right into it, and the first play is going to be down. And like always, we're going to start with the hog mollies up front, what the linemen do, because that's the most important. Uh, on all of these plays. So we're going to start front side of the play, tight end and tackle. You got your rule is going to be gap down backer. Gap down backer. So in the four, this 4-4 four, four look, tight end is going to go to the linebacker. Tackle is going to go to the tackle. This guard is going to pull, kick out a trap block on the defensive end or the last guy on the line of scrimmage. This center, he's in control of a front side A gap. So if that means, and what we'd say is on gap or gap on backer, and what that means is basically if Whoever's in that A-gap, he has to take, take. And if that tackle is having an issue with this three technique, I'm okay with him double teaming this three technique because we have to get the first level block before we get to the second level. Backside, just like in all, our weak side belly side series with the backside, we are, we are uh, scooping. So guard backside guard has A gap, backside tackle has B gap. So we're scooping backside. What the wing does, wing and dive back, um, these two guys right here, they have varying roles on the play. Right now I have it drawn up where the wing back, he blocks a linebacker, but he could be in motion. We could use motion to kind of uh, be a tendency breaker. We'll motion away from the play so that, so that the linebackers move over and think it's Jet going the other way and run down um, toward, towards the tight end side. Dive back, same thing. We could have no motion. We could have him in motion and setting up the pass that we're going to see in just a minute but it depends on what, what the game plan is that week. Fullback, your steps, you're getting the ball. Your steps, instead of the belly steps, which are slow, the down is a fast twitch play. So you're going to 45 degree angle is your first step towards the hole, crossover step, and then what I call an onset step to get you square to the line of scrimmage. Quarterback, and that's where you're going to receive the ball. Quarterback, you do a 180, and then you get handoff next to the line outside the tackle uh, in the C gap is where you give the handoff to the fullback. X receiver over here. You're doing a heels route. You're coming towards and you're trying to get into the eyesight of the safety. And that's our down. The reason we do that is because you're not really part of the play right now, but we want to set up our down pass. Um, so you need to be doing the same thing you would do then. All right, down pass. This is... I'm sure everybody has a different version of down pass. This is our version. Front side of down pass is just like front side of belly pass. We're running the play, so we're running down. So 
Tackle is blocking down, guard is kicking out. Backside, same as belly pass. All right, and if you've seen the, the video of the buck pass, same as, as buck pass. We're gonna swing and gate, give a little cup action backside. Center's got backside A gap. Guard's got backside B gap. Tackle's got backside C gap. Full back, we're getting a good fake in here and I hope you get tackled, but if you don't, you're, you're there blocking. Quarterback, faking to the fullback and then setting up behind the tackle. All right, some versions we may roll out a little bit, but right now uh, we are going to set up outside the tackle. Your progression quarterback. Number one is, is the corner route, 10 to 15 yard with the tight end. Wing, you have a choice route, what we call a choice route. Wing, you're going five yards. If that linebacker sits, you slide out. If that linebacker is coming up to this arrow route right here, you sit in the space. So you basically try to find green grass. Dive back if you're in motion, or if even if you're back here, in the dive back position, you're going to have an arrow route, all right? An arrow route, you set, you're the third option, all right? It's basically basically quick jet or slow, slower jet, what it turns out to be. X receiver, you have the heels route and you're what I call the press box route. You're going at the press box, calls down and says, the safety's not covering the, the X, it's wide open. We're gonna throw that. So that is our down pass. Now, belly, belly, our strong belly. We're going to the tight end side. We're in a different formation right here. Um, this is kind of an overload formation works very well for us. We have a, also a quick pitch and a counter out of this formation, but belly ice is a short yardage, either you're on your goal line going in or you're going in your goal line going out or you're on the opponent's goal line going in most of the time running this formation and you're just trying to, it's a safe play to get three or four yards. All right, and it's belly blocking. If you saw the first video um, when we did, talked about weak side belly, it's the same blocking, gap on away. Tight end, blocking the end. Tackle guard, if there's a three technique, they got a double team. Center guard, double team, if they have a, uh, if they have a one technique because it's all gap on away, then tackle gap on away hitting the end. All right, so that wing, you're coming up underneath, you're probably taking the inside guy because you're probably hitting the hole first. And then you got D guy or the dive has the outside linebacker if he sticks his head in. So we have four guys at the point of attack. Four guys going through the hole at the point of attack. We got one, two, three, four. And really say that that's a fifth guy. So it's a really good play, really safe play. You get you three or four yards. So now we're going to look at some video tape. All right. Right now we have a little different formation than we should drew it up at. This is our far formation, which is a down. Uh, we, which basically means a dive back is right here. And he's going to run it like, like he's going to get, get the arrow. As you can see, we got two down blocks, kick out. And I, I'm, I'm gonna, as we're going through this guys, I'm gonna pose a question to you guys. 
because as you see our wing back, I don't know what he's doing right there, but if anybody has any hints on how to get wings or running backs to block better, I'm all ears because I, I know that's tough for most coaches because all, all the co running backs want the ball and, but don't really want to block all that much. So I, I'm all ears for any tips or anything like that. All right, as you see here, again, we're going to go down. This has been a pretty good good play for us. And this time, we got, got somebody, a wing in there that's blocking his butt off. So it's kind of hit or miss there. I know that's like most of your programs. Here you see, we got, we got rid of the problem of the wing back blocking, basically, we're sending in motion and we're uh, going the other way. So this is kind of, not only was it a tendency breaker, but it was one where we, we thought it was better for our wing back not to just not even be there and not block the right guy, but to um, actually get him out of the way. As you can see, we did that a lot, but our linemen are doing a pretty good job here. We're making the wall gap down backer, and we're coming through. Watch our center here. Center, he's in the A gap right here. Him and the tackle are, have come down, and they're, they're protecting that A gap. They don't have to be great, great blockers, just can't allow penetration and them to scrape over the top of them. Right here, we'll see this is not how we drew it up, that wing. We just had, had him there, and he decided to block the end. Our guard did a mate, good job of just coming in and sliding through the, the hole, um, replacing the wing, what the wing should have done, and we did a good play here even though that end slipped off the wing, which he, he was a, he, he's at Duke right now, that defensive end right now, playing offensive line. All right. Down is not supposed to hit like this. It hit, we, we blocked it very well. It's just sometimes when you have a dude, that's why I always like to have a dude at, fullback is because when it hit when it hits good we can take it to the house at any any play to the house what i want you to know those that are heavy buck teams i would suggest running down out of this far formation because it looks like it could be buck. And when you get in that far formation, that defensive end comes up field trying to take care of buck. And now you can go inside of them and you don't really have to get a good block on them. Again, any help with, with how to get wing backs to block uh, would be appreciated. And if you block this differently, please comment below. All right, this is down, down pass. This is our down pass. It's great on the goal line here. I'll move me out the way here. It's great on the goal line. We should have, if he had more time, um, he could have hit hit the guy, the corner that we're, we're trying to get because he's wide open, but our blocking won't the greatest right there on that play. 
Um, but that corner's out there and the wing help sit down where there's green grass and we're good. We made, made a five yard gain out of nothing. All right, here's another choice play. Right here, quarterback gets a little too deep, but he, make, he makes the right read. I want him to make this sooner though. Just peek deep and then look at the choice and then check it down real quick. Um, play caller didn't do a good job of calling this because this is to the sideline, not giving him a lot of room, but they may do with it, got us through three yards, which is in the wing T is really what you're asking for. All right, we hit a deep one here. What I want you to pay attention to is these guys right here. Why do we throw it deep? Why do we throw it deep? Or that's why is the deep throw the first read? Because these guys are at seven. We want them to back up. So they're not part of the run game. So every pass, the first progression is going to be, we're going to peek deep, try to take a shot. An incomplete deep pass is a better than a complete two, three yard pass in my book anyway. Show that we're willing to take the top off the defense. All right. Show you here. Quarterback just got to get it out in front of him. He gets it out in front of him. That's an easy touchdown. Still three, four yards. All right. Belly ice said pretty good goal line play it's got a lot of the same same kind of feel as if you're a double wing guy the the uh power or the superpower where you got all kinds of guys going into the same hole and like i said all we're looking for is three four yards three four yards we got blockers, we got numbers against you. It, it's hard to stop. A little bit out here, get bodies in the way of people. We'll watch the end zone copy right here. And we just come in, get there. Wing back again. I'll, I'll I'll take any any thoughts on how to get <laughs> running backs to block more. But for the most part, our guys do a pretty good job. Just sometimes you just scratch your head. We'll see the end zone copy here again. Getting off the ball. Don't really have to get much movement. Just get in the way that let our backs make a play. As you can see, trying to get off the go opponent's goal line. We're just running belly ice, get three or four yards at a time. And we'll we'll probably run this three or four plays in a row just to try to get get the first down and get out out of our um, own goal line. All right, we're back to down again, guys. That's it for this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment below, especially if you have any uh, questions or 
any thoughts on how to get running backs to block better. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it. And I'll see you next time at the Fieldhouse.